Hi, I'm Janine Kitson, Independent from Bradfield. Welcome to my webinar today. Let me begin by paying my respects to elders past, present and emerging. I also wish to take this moment to congratulate Larissa Penn, who recently stood as an independent in the New South Wales Willoughby State by-election, where she nearly won with a 19% swing. She demonstrated that one should never underestimate a strong community independent who has a track record in fighting for their community. Larissa's near victory is very encouraging, particularly as the New South Wales seat of Willoughby is partly in the federal seat of Bradfield. This is the year of the independence. The federal election must be called soon with the 21st of May being the latest date for an election to be held. Already the major political machines are in campaign mode. The challenge of standing as a true independent is enormous. However, the election is winnable. I've been working on my campaign for over a year and I'm now ready to enter the next phase of my campaign, getting out to the public to meet people. From now on till the election, I will also be holding fortnightly webinars to inform volunteers how they can help me. For the next two weeks, I will be handing out flyers at railway stations from Asquith to Chatsworth. Please join me. I will also be at the Gordon Market on Sunday the 13th of March from 8.30 to 2 p.m. Again, please join me. To be approved by the Australian Electoral Commission as an independent, I need 100 nominated from the Bradfield electorate to sign my nomination form. So if you are one of the many who have already agreed to sign my nomination form, please be ready to hear from a member of my team who will arrange a time for you to sign my nomination form once it becomes available when the election is formally called. The other big challenge is letterboxing for my next and final Bradfield Can Do Better flyer. Thanks to over 50 volunteers, we have already delivered one flyer to nearly every household in this electorate. But if you would like to do some letterboxing, please let us know. Over the many years of living in Bradfield, I have run many heritage walks. It is again my great pleasure to organize a celebration for the 90th anniversary of the opening of the Sydney Harbour Bridge on Saturday the 19th of March at 5 p.m. Why are we celebrating this? Because it was Dr John Bradfield whom this electorate is named after and who was the chief engineer who supervised the design and construction of one of our most loved national icons, the Sydney Harbour Bridge. On the Saturday 19th of March, 90 years ago to that day, Sydney gathered to watch the cutting of the ribbon that opened the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Sydney Harbour Bridge was Dr John Bradfield's vision during a time of uncertainty and danger. But this bridge brought the nation together. And this is what we now have to do again, have a vision to get us out of extraordinarily dire and challenging times with the climate emergency, the need to build resilience in our democracy with a federal anti-corruption commission and to end the hostile attack and defunding of our other national treasure that will also be celebrating its 90th anniversary this year, the ABC. John Bradfield built his home in Gordon in 1910 and lived there till he died in 1943. When he died, Karingai Council and residents built a memorial garden to perpetuate his memory. We will again celebrate John Bradfield's vision by the symbolic cutting of a ribbon again, this time with no horse at the Gordon Recreation Park between Rosedale Road and Warona Avenue, not far from Gordon Station on Saturday the 19th of May at 5 p.m. We will follow this celebration with a Bradfield Can Do Better fundraiser dinner at the Wyatt Cafe, Warona Avenue, Gordon at 6 p.m. Thank you again for your great help and support. Best Bradfield wishes, 
Janine Kitson, Independent for Bradfield. <laughs>